this is the apparatus for measuring heat transfer in a pin film. Now our aim in this experiment is to calculate the heat transfer coefficient uh, of the pin film. Okay. In this experiment, we can both perform mm, the perform the experiment in both both free and forced convection. Okay, so we can find out what is the heat transfer coefficient in both free and forced convection. For free convection, we can naturally find out. Okay, in the forced convection case, we have to uh, start the blower that you can see here. Okay, so that air flow is forced inside that chamber. Okay. Now. I will describe the apparatus little bit in the details. Uh, this apparatus consists of a pin type fin fitted in a duct. So you can see this is the duct where uh, pin type fin is fitted. A blower is also provided in the one side. You can see here uh, of the duct. Air flow rate can be varied by the control valve. See. Uh, air flow rate can be varied and this air flow rate can be also measured with the help of this manometer fitted ok heat input to the heater is given uh, this is the dimer step to control the heat input to the heater this is the heater ok and Digital temperature indicators are also provided and voltage and ampere indicators are also provided here. Okay. Now, what you, what you have to do is to start the experiment. First, we have to ensure that uh, all the mains, uh, main switches and the uh, switches given in the panels are in off position. That is, the mains is off and uh, this knob is in off position. This is the knob for blower, this is the knob for the panel, and this dimer step is in zero position. Okay. Now I have to connect the we have to connect the air sup, uh, electricity supply. That is I will switch on the mains. You can see the light for the mains is on. Then I will switch on the panel so that electricity supply to the panel uh, starts. Okay. Then I will, I have to set the heater input. See, if I turn this knob, the voltage, voltage changes here and simultaneously I can see the reading for ampere also. Okay. Now, with this I can ensure the voltage and ampere reading here. Now, if I want to uh, find out the heat transfer coefficient for free convection, uh, I don't have to switch on the blower. If I have, if I want to find out the heat transfer coefficient in the force convection, I will switch on this blower. By the sound, you can understand the blower is now switched on. Okay. For now, I will switch off the blower and I'll explain. Okay. Then what you have to do after setting the temperature range for, uh, let us say, um, 40 to 100 volt, you have to wait for one and a half hour to take the reading of this voltmeter and the amp ampere meter and the temperature sensors provided inside the duct. Inside this duct, temperature sensors are also provided. Okay. Now, after one and a half an hour, uh, one and a half hour, I have to take the readings in every 10 minutes. Okay. Till steady state condition is reached. Okay. Now, after the steady state condition is reached, will use those observation and put in the observation table. Now I want you to focus on the observation table here. You can see here, uh, these are the temperature readings for free convection. Simultaneously, you can do the observation for force convection also. We can take the temperature reading for the force convection. Okay. Now after taking the reading for the free convection, T1, T2, T3, all this thermocouple reading, this thermocouple reading can be taken from here, you can see that this is one, two, three, likewise. We can change the thermocouple reading and we'll get the reading in this uh, temperature indicator here. Okay. Now, after taking the reading, you can uh, do the calculation. That is, 
TM, that is uh, the pin fin apparatus, we will take the average to thermocouple reading 5 and ambient temperature is T8, thermocouple number 8 give us the ambient temperature. So delta T will be TM minus TF. Uh, diameter of the pin fin apparatus is given, so we can find out the area. Then using this formula, we can find out what is the heat supplied. Okay. After finding out what is the heat supplied, we can find out we can find out what is the heat transfer coefficient. Okay. Simultaneously, we can also do the calculation for force convection. Okay. Now, after performing the experiment, you have to ensure that all this uh, dimer step is set to zero. This blower is off. This is off, and finally, your mains is off. Thank you.